Hello, people. It's Monday morning. Well, no, I'm sorry. It's Monday afternoon. It's Monday afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> My wife just corrected me. As you can see, she's driving, so everybody knows I'm safe. I'm not driving and recording a video, so y'all don't jump on my shit. Jump. And say, you shouldn't be... Jump. DJ Red curse on TikTok all the time. I know. Other people curse. But anyway, my wife's driving, so y'all can hold on to y'all wokeness and say, don't drive while recording. No, I'm not... Let him do that. I would never do that. I so, wouldn't let you do that. I wouldn't even do it if I was by myself, so... Right. It's just, I know better. I'm not trying to. Now, maybe I might buy a camera and I saw somebody bought a security camera, but they hooked it up to their phone and they have it in their car. I might think about doing that. But anyway, um, I'm just on here because I want to talk about a subject that's been going on with me uh, that I haven't talked about much, and that's my leukemia. Uh, a lot of people that don't know, uh, March of this year, I was diagnosed with CLL leukemia. No, not terminal, not going to kill me. Uh, it's livable. Uh, it does suck, though, to know that, you know, something eventually is going to make you feel like crap and slow down your day uh, from time to time. But thankfully, I'm only, I don't have any symptoms. I'm just watching weight. Uh, my, limp, my limp count was high and my white blood cell count was high. But other than that, I have no symptoms. So, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, I could potentially be watching weight for years you know, four, five, ten, fifteen, even two years, it doesn't matter. And there's no there's no telling, there's no predicting how it's going to act. Except for, you know, it just it's gonna do what it's going to do. Oh, I'm passing my old school, Carahan Elementary. So, you know, it, it it's just wanna tell you people that you know when uh you have mental health and also have medical diagnosis, it can play a factor in how your me mental health does, you know, play a role in that because when I first found out for a month and a half I felt like I was dying I was I put everybody around me through hell because I didn't know what was going on so it's it's safe to say that you know like somebody pointed out to me that day the other day that my medical diagnosis and when you have mental uh health problems it can play a role in how you how you react to a medical diagnosis now I'm not saying that people without uh, psychological health, mental health problems don't react the same way because that's possible as well. It has nothing to do with how you react. Everybody reacts different. I know people walk around with stage 3 brain cancer and doesn't even let it bother them. So I know this. I'm just trying to say that however you handle it, you know, try to find the best way to handle it. I know no medical diagnosis is good news. Somebody but, took the A off of Oak Avenue and made it OK Avenue. But, uh... So, um, like I said, it, it's strange and it's just weird that how my life, I've never really had problems with my immune system and then all of a sudden I got this. And for people that don't know, go look up CLL leukemia, ALL leukemia, CML leukemia. There's so many di types of leukemia and they got a few that are really, like, really aggressive. Like a A L L or A C L, I'm not sure all of them. I could go on a tangent about all the different leukemias. They got uh, man cell, mantle leukemia, mantle cell leukemia. They got all kinds. I'm not gonna go into the broad spectrum of things because that's a whole 30 minute video. So I'm just gonna let y'all go with that. As y'all can see, uh, I'm trying something new with my phone. It's the director's view. Uh, if y'all want to know about it, look it up. Some cameras have it, some don't. So, y'all have a good afternoon. Talk to y'all later.